is brought to you by Leaving Time by Jodi Piku, available in paperback now wherever books are sold. Leaving Time follows 13-year-old Jenna, who is searching for her mother Alice, an elephant researcher who disappeared a decade earlier after an accident at her elephant sanctuary. She enlists the aid of two unlikely helpers uh, in her search for her mother, a psychic who has previously worked searching for missing persons but has begun to doubt her abilities, and a jaded private detective with previous connections to Alice. This is a moving and gripping page-turner from a New York Times bestseller, so check out Leaving Time by Jodi Pico in paperback now wherever books are sold. Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. Today I want to talk to you guys about books that I have read in basically one sitting. I'm not someone who reads particularly quickly. It usually takes me at least a couple of days to read an entire book. It is very, very rare that I can like sit down with a book on one day and finish that book by the end of that day. But there are a handful of occasions that that does happen. They're relatively on the shorter side obviously because in my lifetime I will ever be able to read like a 500 page book in a single sitting but it's more about the actual plot themselves and finding the stories engaging enough that I just don't end up moving until I finish the book. So the first book that I want to talk about that actually inspired this video is Written in the Stars by Isha Saeed. This is a new release young adult book and I read this over the Memorial Day weekend and I read it all in completely one sitting while sitting outside. It was like the perfect summer situation. This story follows a young Pakistani girl. She's 17 years old old finishing up her senior year of high school. Her parents are relatively conservative and they tell her she's allowed to study whatever she wants and do different organizations and like take part in different things but the only thing that she's not allowed to do is have a boyfriend but she ends up breaking that rule and her parents catch her and as sort of like a punishment slash a reaction to that situation her parents end up taking her and her brother to Pakistan and they take her there specifically to pick out a husband for her. Now if you're someone who doesn't know a lot about the culture that may sound really extreme and it is extreme but arranged marriages aren't necessarily like a new or different thing especially for a lot of Asian cultures and so this book just deals with the fact of dealing with an arranged marriage but also this young girl sort of figuring out how to deal with that situation and what she's going to do and just her reactions to everything that's happening around her. This book was so good. Like I've heard good things about this book so I knew I would enjoy it but this was just so amazing, so gripping. The chapters are super short which I think helps with making this a book that you can finish in one sitting but I was like totally pulled into the story and I could not put this book down until I figured out what happened. The next book that I want to recommend is The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. This book takes place in an unnamed prison. It follows a couple of different characters, a couple of the different inmates within this prison, all of whom are on death row. You're also following, I believe it's a priest who works within the prison as well as this investigator, this female investigator who works with people who are on death row to try to get them off of death row. This book is so good. It's one of the best books that I read in 2014 for sure and it's definitely in my like all-time favorite books. The writing in here is so beautiful and so engaging. It completely pulls you into this story. You end up caring so quickly about these characters and the situations that they're put into. Renee Denfeld does such a good job of providing sort of this fuller view of the prison system as well as like the prisoners who are part of the system. Renee Denfeld herself works as a prison investigator so she has like experience within this. But this book is also pretty heartbreaking. There are moments in this book that just was so overwhelming. I did have to put the book down and kind of like take a deep breath. I compare this a lot to prison movies like if you like Shawshank Redemption or if you like The Green Mile this would be a book worth picking up because it has that same level of like heartbreak but also hopefulness that you could only really get when you're talking about prison. Next up I have Tell the Wolves I'm Home by Carol Rifka Brunt. This was again one of my favorite books that I ended up reading in the year that I ended up reading it, maybe 2013. This story follows a young girl named June. Her uncle ends up passing away and her uncle was one of the only friends that she kind of had, the only person that she felt like she could really talk to and confide in, things like that. So. Her uncle's death has a very significant impact on her life. So you're sort of just following her and her family as they deal with her uncle's death, but also 
there are consequences to her uncle's death. June ends up finding out a lot about her uncle's life. This is a really really beautiful book. Again the writing is just like on point and it really pulls you into this story and this family. There are a lot of things that are revealed in this book that I don't want to spoil but I feel like the author does a really good job of providing sort of like a complex situation but making you really feel for the situation and the characters in this book. Now to get away from the really depressing books that I really like to read, my next recommendation is Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple. I love this book. This book is so much fun. It's really funny, really witty. You're mostly following this young girl named B. She ends up convincing her parents to take her to Antarctica because she gets like straight A's but right before they're supposed to leave her mother Bernadette ends up disappearing. Her mother is kind of quirky. She doesn't necessarily get along well with her neighbors. She is just like searching for her mother and doing everything she can to try to figure out where she went. This book is really interesting because it's not just like a straightforward story. You're also looking through like documents and like a collection of things that B has been looking through so it's kind of like you're investigating the situation along with B, but it's just really fun, really engaging. I laughed a lot while reading this book and I just again couldn't put this book down until I knew what had happened to Bernadette. Next up I have How to Get Filthy Rich in Rising Asia by Mohsen Hamid. This is a really interesting novel that I ended up finishing in one sitting partially because it's kind of shorter but also because the writing is really interesting. This is told entirely in second person which is one of those devices that is very rarely done because it's very difficult to do but I think this is one of the few books out there that manages to do it well. This book is written like a self-help book so each chapter has a specific section about something that you can do to help better your life in this rising Asian country but using that device Mohsen Hamid is actually telling you the story of a young person growing up in Asia. It's really interesting. I felt like this book pulled me in because that style and that device is just so different from anything I've ever read before that I just needed to know what was going on in this story. And the last book recommendation that I have for you guys is The Book of Unknown Americans by Christina Henriquez. This book is really really fast read. It's super engaging. You're following this family as they have newly immigrated to the United States from Mexico but what I really like about this book is that you're not only learning about Mexicans who have immigrated into the United States but there are just all types of Hispanic immigrants. The other main family in this book are from Panama and there's also chapters interspersed in here that are just like single profiles on different Hispanic people who live in this apartment complex. But the main storyline follows this young girl who has had this tragic accident happen to her and she hasn't been speaking for a while so her and her parents move to the United States and they become friends with this other family and there's sort of this like love story friendship happening between the young girl and the boy in the other family. It's just really really beautiful and just such a quick read because I mean I felt like I was completely sucked into the story. So yeah those are the six books that I have read in a single sitting. Let me know down in the comments below if you have read any of these books that I mentioned and you were completely sucked in like I was or if you have any other book recommendations that you personally were sucked in completely and you ended up finishing the book in a single sitting. So that's all I have and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!